kịp thời ấy. Have you ever been on this all time? What videos? The ones you sent to Becky. Spot on my chest and call me for twice. <laughs> <laughs> you called for an urgent meeting? Ah, Constable Cooney. Take a seat, please. Have you been binge watching Line of Duty again? No comment. Now, can you tell me who this is? It's James Ormrod. That's right. And what do we know about him? He's an up and coming YouTuber, often helps out with this channel. Anything else? He's a funny guy, good on and off the camera. And most importantly, he's our friend. <laughs> yeah, right. Is it true he carries a knife? Not that I'm aware of. Then explain how he stabbed me in the back. What? Take a look at this. What am I looking at? A photo of my girlfriend, liked by none other than James Ormrod. He's in the picture. Oh yeah? What about this one? Hmm? Another one, to quote DJ Khaled. Another one, yeah? Man be moving mad right now. Stephen, you're overreacting. He's been out with my girlfriend loads of times. He's never tried it on once. Tom, I take no pleasure in showing you this. Man be moving mad on his mate's missus. I know. I think it's about time we taught James Warmrod a lesson. What have you got in mind? It's simple. James has messaged me asking for Bambino Becky's number. I'll screenshot a conversation in which Becky states she finds James attractive and he can have her number. When in actual fact, I will have been speaking to Max Smith, whose name has been changed to Becky in my contacts. It's genius. I then give him my girlfriend's number. She forwards me the messages so I can decide what to say as Becky. We start talking, things naturally develop. Becky then states that she's filming a video about James Charles and she needs a James Charles stan. James Orrod is a budding YouTuber and will jump at the chance to get involved. We get him to say numerous phrases, including squat on my chest and call me Bob. Yeah, that'll show him. After exchanging more saucy messages, including an anecdote about masturbating in Cadbury's world, Becky then says that she's up in Manchester to film a collab and asks if James would be free on Monday night. He says yes. They agree to meet at her hotel at 8pm. However, on the Monday, Becky's train is running late and subsequently she won't be ready in time. Therefore, she leaves the door on the latch and James lets himself into the hotel. Once he's in the room, he'll be greeted by none other than Max Smith. And that's when he realises his week-long romance was nothing but a lie. It's a nice idea, but you'd have to be an idiot to fall for that. Tom, did you not see the clip at the start of the video? Oh shit, yeah. Let's get him. Hey guys, uh, right about here we have the whole conversation between James and Becky. I'm going to play the role of James. Tom, you're going to play the role of Becky. So we're going to skip to the good bits. Are you a virgin? You sound a bit like one. Haha, <laughs> no fuck's sake. I was just taking the piss lol, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good. So how many people have you slept with? <laughs> a bit tragic, but only one, because I was in a three year relationship till a couple of months ago. Haha. <laughs> Hopefully that'll change soon, though. Ooh, flirting leads to squirting. <laughs> Again, I can't, I can't stress enough how Becky is not like this. Sorry, I've been filming this morning. London is alright, but I miss the Welsh's sheep and racism. Found your Twitter, <laughs> Mr Ormrod. After saying the phrase, flirting leads to squirting, I messaged Becky and said, is it okay what I'm doing here, you know, pretending to be you for the sake of a video? She was all on board with it. She was like, yeah, it sounds really good. Uh, also horrific at the same time. Uh, she then offered to follow James on Twitter because... Becky a savage. Uh, <clears throat> so let's find out about this video, Tom. I'm doing an exposing YouTubers parody. Oh nice, which YouTubers are getting the Bambino wrath? <laughs> I'm a B-Tech Chris MD. Big man James Charles is getting it again. Who's Chris MD? Lol. And he's a big football YouTuber. <laughs> it's not big, five foot six. <laughs> oh, I think I know the one. The Jersey Nerf Gun Guy. <laughs> right, this is a bit random. It's not. Would you do a few lines for my new video? I need a livid James Charles stan. You'd be perfect for it. Only if I could take you out for dinner. Mackie sound good. Or we could have a picnic. I've got a ham sandwich with your name on it. I'll bring the monster munch. Oh. The sexiest of crisps. Fucking hell. It's, it's, it's like he doesn't want to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any kinks I should know about before all this happens? I'm into sex with Welsh brunettes yourself. I've got a thing for roleplay. A man in uniform makes my fanny flutter. Ooh, okay, I'll make sure I'm dressed as smart when I'm next directing. <laughs> Faze there, he goes, I've got her on strings, <laughs> mate. I've got her on strings. I hope the only thing you'll be directing is your penis into me. Haha, <laughs> maybe a little bit hey-ho. Finally talking to Bambino, Becky. Hopefully I'll get a standing ovation. Not the first clap I've had from sex. <laughs> <laughs> Joke. Would you actually do the bits for my video? And oh, snap. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lol. And of course, haha. Would you want me to send it over? Yes, yeah, send it over, please. Now, these might seem mental, but in the context of the video, it works. Didn't say which video. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. That's the tea, sis. Then spill drink on yourself, if possible. Yas, queen. And the last one. Well, squat on my chest and call me Bob. It's so clearly you. Should we see what happened? Yas, queen. That's the tea, sis. Oh, I can't believe you've done this. More gay. More gay again? Yeah. I'm not going too gay. Ooh, well, squat on my chest and kill me, Bob. So now it's Becky explaining what she's up to this weekend. All weekend, you're a grafter. <laughs> well, I'm meeting my YouTube friend. She's actually from near Manchester. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. God gave me hands to work. Hands to work and a mouth to munch. <laughs> I'll forgive you. She's called Hannah Rene. We're filming Tuesday, but I might come up Monday if you fancy doing something. Too right, a new posh. My mum would be happy, lol. <laughs> and hey, that'd be sick. I have an early start Tuesday, but I'm game. Stop going on about your schedule, James. <laughs> a few days later. Yeah. Where's the weirdest place you've wanked? That's a question and a half, lol. Nah, it's chill. Makes me laugh. <laughs> you? Probably the toilets at Cadbury's World, lol. Make Cadbury's fingers joke here. James just talks about... Is D in politics. I hope you get a D in something else soon. It must be busy on a bank holiday Sunday. What uniform are you wearing tomorrow then? <laughs> Could you just say your first sentence again, please? I hope you get a D in something else soon. Well, hey, go on. Oh, if you can't think, just... Well, hey, go on. <laughs> Sex. <laughs> 4.54, yep. Monday evening. James asks, when's your train? I'm on it now, sir. What are you doing? Just got back from a food shop and sorted everything out, really. Very boring, but sort of stuff that... Good information. <laughs> ...that needs to get done, really. Stop sexting about your food shop, for the love of God. I've got your favourite beta male Bev. Vodka and cranberry. Fancy a little pre-drink before heading out? As if, haha. Yeah, why not? Same time? Yeah, the train is running a bit late, but 8pm should be fine. Doesn't surprise me, haha. Welcome to Trains Up North again. <laughs> Whee! Wait, go on. Okay, nice one. Just making tea now from the, from the food shop. I'm getting ready, but feel free to come. I've got drinks waiting for you. And in the picture, you can see the camera at the top so yeah. that you wouldn't question the vlogging. No, and you can't stop me. Okay, sound. I'll leave in five. I'll probably be doing my hair, but the code for the building is 1313. Okay, on my way. And that's where we're up to, Tom. We now go over live to... <laughs> James Orrotto has just entered the building. Let's see what happens. Hello? Monster Munch. It's me, Bambino Becky. Have you had me on this whole time? No, no, no. Have a seat. What have made love? Well, it's just a big scam this whole time. No, 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 I'm Bambino Becky. It's Stephen in the bathroom. <laughs> have you had me on this whole time? I can't believe you've done this. Oh. Turn your hand over. <laughs> <laughs> it's not all bad, okay? Do you Cheers. know how gutted I am for that to walk out the back? <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! Don't come wow. Closer, come closer. Sorry, sorry, the, can we... You can we, the misery. Can we just repeat that? No. <laughs> Don't worry though, look. Right, James, if you're watching this, it means you now know that I wasn't the one who is texting you and I feel text you so you bad about it and I'm sorry that I let it go ahead but it was in fact your mate Stephen tries she terrible text you boy. Um, I just want to oh. say I'm very very sorry I'm sure we can still make things work and this will be a great story for the wedding alright um, all the best stay in touch <laughs> that's beautiful babe <laughs> there oh. you go I'm I'm sure I'm right right right. how excited <laughs> I got how excited <laughs> go on were you fully arrested? 100% I'm still going <laughs> Got a few wanks out of it. <laughs> <laughs> we all did! <laughs> and she followed you on both accounts. Yeah, I was thinking that was a bit, yeah. That was kind of it, to be fair. Yeah, That's really nice. helped with the video. Good woman. Mm. That's it.
You've picked a good woman. You know how to pick her. She is, she is, she is. Good banter, to be fair. And you've got a way in now. <laughs> Would you like her number? What about them videos? What videos? The ones you sent to Becky. Squat on my chest and call me for. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I knew. Fuck oh, me, man. I thought to myself, Fuck this is me. How did you not connect them at this point? Normally, with pranks, is an overreaction. This but you good. can see the dejection in this yeah, artist. Yeah. It's authentic. Yeah. And that's what you get, on, that's what you get on Stephen Pranks. Do you feel like your life has been ruined at this point? Well, it was. The, the year has been a bad year, but it was getting good. Yeah. Uh, not uh, anymore, but it's. Uh, I'll have to mute this part. Uh, so, what, why has your year been bad, James? Don't go to girls don't love me. No. Lost my job. Lost the house. But you, but you, you know, you got your link in the description, mate. Not top. We'll have, we'll have, we'll have Becky top. Look, it was just here, concealed. Should we? Can we go back and see? Potentially, it wasn't in focus. <laughs> That's what you do when you're pranking. Yeah. Pranking. Speaking of not focused, James, where's your mind at? <laughs> And there we have it, our second ever prank. Uh, first we did Ryan, mm. and now we've done James. And we actually said that James is quite similar to Ryan, but smarter. Yeah. More fool us. <laughs> I had more sympathy for Ryan, though. Um, yeah, definitely. James that... absolutely deserved this. <laughs> it was just a week, week-long thing. Week-long fling, yeah, should yeah. we say. But anyway, as, as I say, he's, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. You're supposed to agree with me there, Tom. <laughs> no, no, he, he, to, to be fair, he is. And, uh, he has it was, it was a uh, That reveal must have been tough, because... He was very, very excited. Please check out his channel and Becky's and mine. Are oh, you doing that? Uh, anyway, we'll see you next week. <laughs> week. Ciao. Uh, bye.